Hi, I'm Adam Duckworth, and we're here with what is definitely the coolest thing of the whole Focus Show. No, not the stylish Chris, but the thing he's holding, the Elinchrom Ranger Quadra. Tell us about it, Chris. It's the new, new latest piece of kit from Elinchrom. It's not going to be available until about the end of March, but we've got two units here which we're showing, and the, the response from the show has been absolutely fantastic. Basically, it's a 400 watt second battery power pack, which can run two heads. It's an asymmetric pack, so it has two outlets. It's asymmetric in that it has uh, one outlet giving 66% and one outlet giving 33%. So it will go from 8.2 watt seconds right up to 400 watt seconds if you want it to. And if you use the A head, this is just the S head, but if you do an A head as well, which is the ultra fast head on the lower output socket, then it will give you up to six thousandths per second what, um, flash duration. So what's the, compared to say the big Ranger packs, which are brilliant, but you know, kind of big to carry around, what sort of power have these got compared to those? Well, the big Ranger pack is almost 1200 watt seconds. This is 400. Um, so it is a lower powered unit, but as you can see, it's extremely compact, extremely light, it weighs in total with the battery about three kilos, so it's very simple to just hang over your shoulder and take out on location anywhere. It's got a one and a half per hour battery charge, and it will give you something like about 120 flashes for full charge, uh, for full charge at full power. And of course, as soon as you start turning the power down, you get hundreds more flashes. And it's got a slow charge uh, mod, uh, system, which gives you about 40% more flashes. What about putting them? Um light modifiers on it because you know yep. compared to like little sp speed light flash guns how do you as do you, on this? as you can see the small head let me just hang that on there the small head is tiny it's a very lightweight head if i can take it off the stand there we go. and it has a full-size flash tube in it it has a series of small accessories that fit on with this bayonet fitting attachment and there is an adapter that you can put on here that you can fit any light modifier to. So you can even put that in an Octa if you wanted to, or a big two meter wide Octa, and have all the controls outside. Absolutely beautiful. One of the things that people can't say when they first see it, it's a shame it hasn't got a modeling yet. Yeah. But that little yellow patch there is actually an LED modeling light. Absolutely phenomenal. And not only that, it's daylight balanced. So we turn that on, just turn it away from the camera, so I just need to turn the pack on first. <coughs> Look, that's it. And we turn the morning lamp on, and you can see how bright that is. It's just incredibly bright. It's an amazing piece of kit. So is that bright enough to use, say, with a, like on a on the Canon EOS 5D Mark II with the video on it? Is that absolutely use it the video light? Perfect video light. We reckon it hasn't been tested yet, but we reckon it'll probably give you a couple of hours continuous use. And you can program the modeling lamp to turn off after a certain given time or you can just hold the button down for three seconds and it stays on indefinitely so you, it's perfect for the new ranges of cameras that are coming out doing video and still photography at the same time absolutely perfect the little adapt little uh, accessory just fits on on a bayonet fitting like that and it fits straight onto a head or a strober frame or anything you want to put on put onto it that is really nice and instead of having to have a tilt head or an attachment, it all just comes straight with the thing. Absolutely. Open. That's really cool. Possibly the biggest feature that it's got, of course, is that it's got our Skyport radio remote system built into it. So not only do you have a transmitter that you fire it with a radio signal, but it can control the power in tenths of an f-stop, up or down, just with a plus and minus button from your camera position. Oh, that's really cool. And that's got four channels, so you could have four units dotted around, each one working on a different channel, and then control each one individually, set it to all, and then it will fire the lot. So it's absolutely it's super it's piece of kit. And when are they on sale? Well, we hopefully we're going to get them in about six weeks, at the end of March. You've got to, if you want one, you've got to get your name down for one because I think the first shipment is going to be sold out. We've got people begging us to buy them. The other thing, of course, it's got lots of programmable features. So if you want to use it in conjunction with speed lights, then you can set it to learn the pre-flashes that the speed lights will give. So it will ignore the pre-flashes, fire on the last flash. It's also got lots of programmable features, yeah. such as we can change the display on the front from the Alincrom uh, display to what seconds. We can uh, change the audio beep on it 
we can change all sorts of things, all programmable fixtures in it, just like our BXRI, which is our mains powered new unit with the Skyport and some cool. It really is so well thought out. And what I really like is the power, the small battery pack, the power of the head, it's so small and compact, yeah. you can really take it with you. And all the clever stuff that it talks of the flask is pretty cool actually. I think I'll definitely be getting some of those. So it's Adam Duckworth for the Flash Centre at Focus.